Parasite Expats. Um, I'm going to bring this up because it's been brought up a few times in the last three weeks. And some people may ask me why. They still ask me why you talk about the Philippines. Because I talk to a lot of people on the Philippines. I've got family in the Philippines. I do a lot of stuff relating to the Philippines. Um, and that's why I keep getting involved in it. If you're wondering why the pegs are on the curtains, by the way. Uh, what it is, is when they hang down, I've got a habit of leaning on the back of the um, sofa and pulling the curtains down. So April's pinned them up at the minute. Um, but the on topic, the point being, these guys are approaching people new to the Philippines. They're hanging out in the malls, things like pension houses, things like the expat bars and stuff. And they'll approach you. They're not shy. Um, and then I'll ask you how long you've been there, or whatever, because they're trying to gauge how long you've been there because they're wondering if how long they can bump into you or worried about do people already warn you about them. Um, because what they do is they tap money with a sub story. Um, I'm not going to name names because there's one recent one that is doing it on a regular basis and become a bit of a pain uh, to sort of, well, a few people uh, running up debts and things like that, not borrow this. And But the point being is when people ask you for this money, look at it from this way. If I was in your town and I walked up to you and says, could you give me X, Y, Z? Um, I've lost my passport and whatever. The the response would be more useful to actually say, I'll ring the embassy for you. Do you want me to ring the embassy? Well, no, 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 you don't have to go through all that. Um, because these guys haven't lost their passports. They haven't gone down in their luck. A lot of them were down in their luck to begin with. They went to the Philippines with no money or very, very little no plan of sustainability, not enough money to get a business or anything off the ground. Um, there is some that have fell on hard times, but these guys I've come across are not those. These ain't guys that have had their wives uh, rob the business or whatever. These are guys that arrive with a couple of thousand dollars a month at, for the, uh, sorry, a couple of thousand dollars in total. And worked their way through it and didn't want to go home. Um, but also, they didn't plan ahead for a flight or anything like that. But you will see, they they have no intention of leaving. So, they're not buying a flight ticket. They're not going to change the way they are. They're not going to sort themselves out. Um... I was talking to an, an expat the other day about this, about somebody's spending habits, because the guy was spending money on stuff he shouldn't have done. He's just been giving some money to help get him on track and went and blew it. You know, literally it was gone within an hour. Um, and I was explaining, like, when I was in the UK a, a while back, I arrived in the UK with... Um, enough money to get me started and then the work I got was further away from home than I expected from my parents place so this is for a housing association so it's not hotels and all that it's, you, you've got to sort your own, your own accommodation out so I needed to get a car get the fuel get a house rental and pay the deposits and all that so the first week um, I work, you know, you work for your first week, you don't get your pay till the following week. Um, so done my work first week, paid for the fuel for that week, which was about, I think it was about a hundred and some pounds. But by the second week, I was down at three pounds. Now, with the three pounds, I basically bought bread and beans. Um, it was enough to just get me through the week. That's what I lived on, bread and beans, three pounds worth of food. <laughs> um, and then on the Friday, 
back back to normal. These guys would not do bread and beans. They would be off to the Indian takeaway or something and spend it all. Well, I mean, okay, three pounds they're going to spend it at the Indian takeaway. But if if they borrowed money off somebody and had like say, uh, say twenty quid, twenty pounds, they would spend it on an Indian takeaway and they would spend it till it's gone. There'd be Indian takeaway, cigarettes, blah blah blah, and it's gone. And then they'd be asking somebody else. They ain't going to change. They've basically found a industry in begging. Um, even in the matter, there's a guy here that begs every day, but I've seen him driving a car in the matter. Um, <coughs> but they have created this little niche for themselves where they look for new arrivals because new arrivals are the easiest people to bother and get money off. Because it's like me, if you bothered me, I'll know, I've just got off a long haul flight and said, Matt, Matt, my life's so bad, I've had this problem, blah, blah, blah. You might hit me lucky, and I'll go, well, here there's 3,000 pesos, just to get rid of them. Um, even if I thought they were lying, but chances that would be pretty slim, because I'm more likely to tell them where to go. Um, but there's a few people doing it, and I've seen them in um, SM Mall. Um, I've heard they've been doing it in some of the bars and the pension houses. Uh I know of at least three in Cebu. Um, all I can say is don't help them. It may sound nasty, but at the end of the day, they've created an industry. And you may think, if I give them this money, I'm helping them. You're not. Because they've given them, taking your 3,000, 5,000, whatever, and then they're looking for the next person five minutes later. They're just... bad people um i can't say it any other way obviously if you choose to abuse people's goodwill you're a bad person um in my view because when somebody really does need that help you if somebody finds out somebody's been abusing it and what have you and then they bump into somebody who really needs help you may just go i've had all this crap before i'm not interested and i'd work much rather these people just left the Philippines. Thanks for watching.